morning people wonderful world how are you guys doing hope everyone is doing well today welcome again to another episode of music and marriage my name is nikita i'm your host and this is my co-host i'm luck red square bless how everyone doing out there in the world hope everything is going well hope everyone is back to work i yeah. guess you know being safe you know just taking life one day at a time getting back to the normal you know the everyday hustle and bustle um before we get into the show i do want to send a big congrats to my little sister nikki she just had her baby yesterday mm -hmm. um she had a safe delivery baby's all right she's okay so i just want to send a big congrats to you i can't wait to see you kenzie yeah, congratulations nikish big up yourself all right now what do you want to talk about with the people today um i know i saw a topic recently on facebook that i wanted to discuss yeah yeah i see k did put up something right yeah saying um she 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 asked a question basically mm -hmm. You know, wondering if they're still, if men are still thinking about marriage, you know. Is marriage a is, goal? Is marriage a is goal? Is marriage a goal for, for, for men, men these days? In this time? Mm -hmm. um, that's a real good question. Definitely. That's a real good question. Um, I'm going to turn it over to the man um, on the show and you can tell me how you yeah, feel about personally, it. Personally, it depends upon, depends upon the... the, the the environment is growing, you know. Mm -hmm. So me, me not feel like mm. me not feel like me not feel like the environment me grow up, you know. Me not feel like it was one that was conducive to men talking about getting married, or or if that was something that was you know in the mind of any man. Okay. You know. So we are trying to say get a youth. We are trying to say get a youth. Not really pre-marriage as a goal. No sir, no sir, no sir. I mean, I think so. Every get a youth dream of a rich and <laughs> a bully for girl and you know what I mean. I said mm -hmm. no, typical cliche. Thing. Yeah, the marriage thing. When I think, I mean, I'm not gonna say every because maybe you have one or two uh, probably mm -hmm. have good role models in them house mm -hmm. and thing and thing and you know you have you have people who are living at the ghetto where married. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, I was going to bring that up. Yeah. But, majority, mm -hmm. you know, from me growing up, my peers and, you know, in you know, my environment, for the most part, no man never that pre in a marriage, including myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I said, like, yeah, marriage was just was seen as corny, you know, it was mm -hmm. seen as one so, burner business that can't work, even our music that popular, you know. One burner business can't work again, beanie man. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like, yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a good question. I feel it depends on the environment you grew up in, really. Mm. I don't think so because I mean, I grew up in the same environment you did, even though I'm a female. That's the difference. But well, okay, I guess speaking about the men, um, for men, I don't know. You can speak by your behalf. Speak by your behalf. I don't know. I don't that's, think that's no problem. I don't man. think it's it's where you grew up. I think it's how you grew up. I don't think because I think there's a lot of ghetto, you know, youths out there that see their mother struggling a certain way, and they look at that and they're like, "Damn, you know, I'm gonna be that man that my father wasn't." You get what I'm saying? Like, so I think that that pushed some of them to become great fathers and great husbands. But as far we're, as... We're not talking about father figures. Okay, husbands. Let's talk about husband. Okay. See? Mm -hmm. Because... You no know, few grew up with, with, without biological fathers. But yeah, but they have, still see men around. Figures. Exactly, father figures. And they do see men so, in their lives. And, but yeah. a lot of men do look at that and be like, well, you know, I don't want to be like my father said, my God, daddy, you know? I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a husband. I'm going to be a proper... Because it comes kind of hand in hand. When you have, a, when you're trying to build a household, yeah, the husband that, and a, it depends on the environment. I don't think feel. so. Because you know, I don't think so. Are very few, very few you me know like mm -hmm. very. Me can probably come upon one and have wives. A youth when me grow with, mm -hmm. we have wife. And are in a real serious relationship, relationship, not right. not flinky flinky no, relationship, no. like real very me few. and you. Yeah, we can count. <laughs> and that's sad. One. 
And that's sad. When do you think that it's going to be a time for us to change that, that mentality and that image that we put upon marriage in our ghetto neighborhoods? Like, how are we going to change that? Because it's a sad thing to see that, you know, so many men out here feel like it's okay to have a wife but have a woman over there, 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 because it's how they grew up. Yeah, but when is the time to change? Well, you are just set an example within your house, I guess. Exactly. And, and within, your, within your community. Mm -hmm. And, you know, eventually people are going to accept it as the norm. Mm. Because, we, as, you know, it's, it's just about the norms, you know. It's, mm. it's just about what you accept, mm -hmm. you know, in your environment and, yeah. and what you see. And basically, eventually, what you follow, you know. Mm -hmm. um, me personally, You know, me did have to change my way of thinking in order to be in a position where I am now, you know, being married with kids and all of that. Mm -hmm. You understand? But, you know, as a youth growing up, I never even did a thing say I would have even in a position away. I would have a wife and I would have settled down and I would have done certain thing. things, yeah. You understand what I say? So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not that change can't happen, you know, because so, change can happen during the, the growth process. So at what age do you think that change needs to start happening? What age or do you think that it needs to just be a, a continuous thing from birth? I don't mean, understand the question. As far as like the changes, how would you want the changes to be like? What age do you think like, okay, at 13 you start teaching a man, a little boy, how to be a man or how to be a husband? But yeah, at the same time... You might well learn sub subliminally. Mm. But then is that within, the right way? Within, within the confines of the space where you might grow up in. A. Yeah, but don't you think so that eventually it's good to have a one-on-one? On one? yeah. No, of course. But eventually, you know, naturally, mm. I said I go see him father do him thing. And, and end up taking some things or most things from him father mm -hmm. and implement it in his own life. Mm -hmm. You understand? And, and then the things them where a father can do in terms of reasoning and everything, a conversation. I think that that can start as early as possible because it's not like you tell him something wrong, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that can start but as early as possible. But that's a conversation that needs to be happening more often because it, it's, it's not something that you really see men sit down and teach their son like have one woman or be a you know a good husband to a wife one day or something like that. Not even, you don't, not even mothers teach them son. To I teach one, my son that. Have one woman. I teach my son that. You don't hear me tell Tafari and Kingdom when they get older they're going to have a nice wife? No. You're a damn liar. No, I don't. I, te that. I teach my son that. My sons. Tafari, yeah, I speak him, to him. him girlfriend then. Yeah, I ask him if he have girlfriends at school. Yeah, that's how it start out. You got to start yeah. out with, you know, knowing what you like. No, and when you no, find no, out no. in a variety what you like, then you stick to that one thing. Mm. But he don't know what he like yet. He's still young. So I got to let him, you know what I'm saying, make him understand that he got to figure it out, play the field. Not necessarily play the field, but... Play the field. You see what Figure I'm it out. No, Naturally, it comes, it comes <laughs> no, up. No, but I'm like not... That. Yeah, but that's how you have to start in any relationship. You have to see what play it is field. that you like. Yes, mm -hmm. even if with females, you have to date and see who you like, what is it that you're attracted so to. So wrong if I'm on just a date out there and not There's nothing wrong with anyone dating. There's nothing wrong with anyone dating. I'm not against that. I'm not against, but at the same time, I always say, as long as it's an open communication, mm -hmm. that's fine. If that's something that the other parties are willing to deal with, that's fine. But you don't just have a relationship where you have two, three, four of them and nobody know about nobody. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. And that's a different situation. I always tell him, make sure he's honest with women and stuff like that. You have to start teaching them from early. I don't know if you have conversations with him, but I do. Oh, really? I feel like it's important really, to have conversations, really. especially not in the right world now. that we live in right now. Not right I ask him about girls. I show him on TV. I'm like, you like this one, you like that one. So, you know, say another yeah, example. Mm -hmm. you okay. Know, that's the example we are set, so I like him to see it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I guess I guess I understand. I could get that part where you're trying to say, but I still think it's important for mothers, for parents to speak to their children, boys and girls, about you know dating and stuff like that. What it is that you like, because some people just some young children just date or teenagers like we just date even adults. 
you just date and you don't know what it is it that you like like you have to figure out what you want what is it that you like what fits your taste and then you move on from there yeah. if you don't know that then you're just going to be all over the place in a relationship someone can accept them kind of energy that way. yeah but you have to it's reality and at the yeah. end of the day this is what we're living in and it's either you're going to be aware to what's going on and you're just going to sit there and play the fool you're going to figure out which one you're going to do and then when you're playing the fool you're going to have to act up yourself and do all this unnecessary foolishness because you feel disrespected like it's all based on just a conversation you just sit down and communicate and y'all know what it is that y'all want and y'all keep pushing keep from there pushing, yeah, yeah. and if it's not what you want then you know you gotta keep it to the left and you go on and do your thing but based upon observation in today's society when I mean, I think when I, mean, I think no man real I mean, it you know again it's based on solely my environment mm-hmm. I don't know it might be something different for you and mm-hmm. where you live but I don't because, really see no pre, no marriage, well, nothing, uh, nothing I mean, like that growing time. up in, in, in New York, in the Bronx, I mean, it wasn't something that men talked about. Like, the yeah. guys around, they didn't talk about, like, okay, we want to get married. Mm-hmm. But if the conversation did come up, if certain songs were playing, and you know, like when Jagged Edge came out, well, let's get married and stuff like that. Dudes, we used to talk about marriage then, but it wasn't like an open communication yeah, as it is today. Boy, no. Today is more, I think today is more... It's more popular and more cool to say you're married. But what people don't understand, saying that you're married, married does, just doesn't come with a marriage certificate. It comes with other things. It's not just, okay, we're married. You got to put that work in because if you don't put the work in, it ain't going to work. Yeah, and that's why the question was posed. You know, are men still thinking about getting I think married? so. The younger generation, I don't think they are, but I think the older generation, like our 80, 80s baby, I think they're trying to figure it out with marriage and, and, you know, stuff like that, and they want the family because they see it as something that's popular in the mainstream. Mm-hmm. All these artists are married, mm-hmm. having families. Everyone's talking about relationship goals, marriage goals. So everyone is, you know, I think that they're trying to get to that level. But then the real issue that comes with it that I feel like is is gonna be a problem mm-hmm. with not the men saying that they don't want it, it's how the females are reacting towards marriage nowadays. Okay. How the females are reacting. I don't think marriage is a goal for women. Yeah. I don't think mm mm. The roles have been reversed. Yeah. So yeah. Back in the days we Man used, used to, to know want we used to want the marriage more. We wanted the family, we wanted the household, we wanted all of that. Mm-hmm. But now women are more focused on careers, I yeah. think. They're not really focused on marriage. They're just like, Okay, I wanna get my career and then I'll focus on the family later but then at the same time a lot of women don't realize that we have a clock that we are working with. So if you don't work within that time frame of that clock, you're not gonna have everything that you want or you desire in your life this when it's all said and done. This whole, this whole feminist movement kind of change a lot of mm-hmm. the way how people, mm-hmm. women think and how women view oh, marriage, women how women like view relationship. Do they don't need a man their own and <clears throat> things like that. Mm-hmm. It definitely all plays hand in hand with each other, but I don't think females are really into marriage as they used to be. Things and times are changed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Back in the days, women used to say, "Okay, we're gonna stay home and be the housekeepers and everything like that." Nothing now, anymore. you rarely find a woman that said they even cook four or five times a week. If you do find that, it's rare. I mean, I do understand that we all have to be out here hustling and working, and you know, what I'm saying, doing what we have to do to survive. Yeah. But at the same time, life isn't about just working and slaving and doing this. And, you know what I'm saying? Achievements are great, yes. But your biggest achievement that you will ever have, in my opinion, is your family, is what you create, is what you build. Yeah. Whether it's through adoption, whether it's through IVF, whatever it is, whatever process it is that you have to go through. But I just feel like that's something that completes your life. You know, other achievements, everything else can, you know, happen. But with pregnancy and... You know, creating a family of your own, it's it's kind of difficult. And we have, you know, a time against us, as I said. So it's kind of something that we have to make sure that we remember that, okay, we can still achieve a career. We can still do all of that. We can still accomplish all of our goals. But at the same time, if you're trying to attain a family, make sure you focus on that as well. That could be a part of the list. 
It's a job. It's a part of your job description. Keeping up with your family, making sure that everything is done that needs to be done. If you're so career driven, put that a part of your career. It's it's a job that you're doing. Definitely. So just think about it is that way if that's your mentality. But I don't know. I feel like marriage for females, especially nowadays with this generation, mm-hmm. mm-mm, they're not thinking about them. No, no marriage. The city girl mentality. Mm-mm. They just want the scammers, yeah, the hustlers, everything like that. They're not really trying to focus on, okay, let me build a house. Let me try to, you know, create something. It's just the thotting and bopping. That's all it is really for the younger generation. So marriage, I don't know. It's not going to be, I don't, I think we're going to have a lot of marriages, but we're going to also have a lot of high divorce rates. Things have changed, you know. Mm -hmm. Things change. Things definitely have changed over the years. Generations, (laughs) Generations, <laughs> different generation. Sorry for the one, then we'll come after we can stick upon them. Yeah, Things yeah. don't look too pretty at all, at all, at all. For now. Yeah, so you know, just talk to us in the comments below. Make we know what you think about the state of, of the, the, the mind of man right now in terms of marriage. You know, are men thinking about getting married in this day and age? Is marriage really important? You know, I think yeah, it, it's definitely important. You know, you have to build stability within your within your household and then basically within your community. Mm-hmm. You know, and if you're a starter, yeah, they can go abroad. Exactly. So, you know, let us know what you think. Same. Yes. Definitely chime in and give us your opinion on today's episode. We're going to be leaving you guys today. Today is nice, short, and sweet. Um, Hope you guys join us again on another episode of Music and Marriage. Again, my name is Nikita. I'm your host, and this is my co-host. I'm Lockhart Square. Peace. Walk good.